Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. The stats are clear. Childhood obesity is an epidemic. To fight this, Vanderbilt is joining forces with Metro Nashville Parks and using a $12 million grant to educate and change the eating habits of kids and their families. The new grant is based on a successful pilot program aimed at Latino families. Barb Kramer has more. It's playtime at Coleman Community Center. But it's not just playtime. These young children are also learning how to have a better life. Mucho ejercicio. A ver, su corazón ahora. They are part of Salud con la Familia, classes that teach how to prevent obesity and diabetes. For a Caucasian five-year-old, the likelihood of obesity is about 5%. For a Latino five-year-old, the likelihood is about 25%, much higher. Gracias, gracias. The parents of those young children are in class too, talking about nutrition, physical activity, and parenting. Ahora, ¿cómo son los botones? Sí, así, sí. The four month long program includes 100 Latino families with young children. The groups meet each week, talking about nutrition, physical activity, and parenting. You know what today's theme is? Turn off the TV. <laughs> you need to be a model for your child. You cannot be watching four hours of TV and then turn around and tell the child you can't watch TV. And that got a lot of giggles, a lot of chuckles, because a lot of families can identify that. Una, dos, tres. Sometimes I sit down in the TV and the kid is crying or something. And it's like, hey, get the kid, honey, I'm watching TV. Or Juan and his wife Irma want to be better parents for their young daughters, so they are in the salud classes. Okay. The classes also help Irma handle the stress of being a stay-at-home mom. Clean the house, take care of the kids, play with the kids. But the kids crying, the kids fight. Okay, otra vez. Irma and Juan are eager to learn how to help their daughters now and in the future. It's things to, that you can tell your kids how to talk their, their kids and it's just like a like a chain you know and the chain starts now as these children teach their parents their new game spending happy active time together it was incredible I mean everybody's having a good time doing a lot of things that they never done Whoa. that's a good thing for families in Nashville Barb Kramer reporting make a delicious uh, Dijon vinaigrette that makes a great salad dressing or um, a drizzle or a marinade for your favorite foods. Thin creamy salad dressing can be heart healthy. What about lemon pepper shrimp or pineapple chicken stir fry? Learn about delicious and healthy recipes on healthplus.vanderbilt.edu. Search for healthy recipe. Does one day in the field make you an expert witness? I, I believe one day of me studying anything makes me an expert <laughs> in something. Vanderbilt professor of law and political science Carol Swain had some untraditional company when she testified before Congress. Swain and comedian Stephen Colbert testified on the issue of American farmers' reliance on foreign and often undocumented workers. Despite the unusual nature of having Colbert testify in character, Swain gave her opinion on the issue. The E-Verify program that the federal government already has and many people are voluntarily signing up for that program, that program, if it was mandatory across the country, it would create opportunities for American workers because there are millions of illegal immigrants that are working uh, on the payrolls that should not have jobs. These are jobs that should go to American workers. And so I think that we need to enforce the laws that are on the books and then see how much uh, surplus labor we may need. If we have a labor shortage after we enforce our laws, then we need to look at the guest worker programs and see how they need to be changed. You can watch the full Senate hearing on cspan.org. Type farm labor in the search bar. It'll take a lot more than one bus to hide the amazing project being built here in Nashville by the folks from ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition. And a Vandy professor is helping with the project. It's a terrifying scene many of us here in Nashville remember all too well when a classroom from Lighthouse Christian School literally floated onto the highway and smashed. The Extreme Makeover folks, along with local sponsors and volunteers, helped build a 60,000 square foot building for the school in just one week. 
Vanderbilt special ed professor Mary Louise Hemeter consulted with the design team. The show will air sometime this fall. We give this makeover four very generous Commodores. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.